Hey y'all, my name's Lauren and I'm going to talk to you today about some of my favorite baby products. First of all, my daughter, her name is Lucy. She is eight months old and I'm going to tell you about the products that we've really liked up until this point. She is currently napping, so if you hear some, some crazy noises, it's her little sleep machine. The first product that I'm going to tell you about is the Baby Merlin's Magic Sleep Suit. I'd heard about this product on YouTube actually through Blow of Grace and Katie and Colin. I love this suit. It is amazing. You can start putting baby in it when they are three months old and they recommend you transition baby out whenever they can start rolling over in it. And I think Lucy was, she was about six months old when we trans transitioned her out of it. But let me just say, I really think that this suit is why she's such a good sleeper. Now granted, we have our nights where she wakes up several times, but that's due to other other reasons like teething and stuff like that. But I love this suit. I, I recommend it to all of my friends that either are going to have a baby or they have a baby. They're having sleep problems. I recommend it. We love it. The next product that I'm going to tell you about is going to be a sleep sack. Once we transitioned her out of the sleep suit, we wanted something that she could wear throughout the night and and stay warm without having to put a blanket in her crib. Now let me just say, if you do let your baby sleep with a blanket, that's perfectly fine. To each is their own. I just prefer not to. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Therefore, Lucy doesn't sleep with a blanket. This one is by Disney. It is so cute. We love it. She can wear this. We put her normal pajamas on her, just like we did in the, the suit. And then we put this on over, zip it up, put her in her crib. She goes right to sleep. She loves it. We love it. She does have a hard time sleeping when she doesn't have it on. There's been a few instances where she's not had it because my dog chewed the zipper off of it for some reason. My dog Coco loves zippers. We love this suit. You can get them. You don't have to get a Disney one. There's a company, I believe they're called Halo. They make them. You can get them at Target. They're not very expensive. That's actually what Lucy's left napping. Like I said, we like it. We I would recommend it to anyone. The next products I'm going to talk to you about are going to be bottles. We love the Dr. Brown's bottles and we like the Advent bottles. We've used these the entire time she's been here. We really like them. She doesn't seem to have very many belly aches, and I just, I can't say enough about these two things. I'm currently breastfeeding Lucy. Um, the first 11 weeks of her life, I had to exclusively pump because she, when she was first born, she didn't know how to suck, so we had to give her a bottle, and then she wouldn't latch. So, it took her 11 weeks in order to be able to have a good latch so she was able to nurse. So about 11 weeks, I want to say that I was pumping probably 10 times a day. Um, I try to keep it very consistent because I don't have a very good supply anyway. And occasionally we do have to supplement with formula. If you give your baby formula, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Breastfeeding is just something that I personally, I wanted to do. So I did whatever it took and that meant exclusively pumping. Now that she's eight months old, I still pump. I try to pump at least three times a day and nurse two to three times. Sometimes I pump more, sometimes I pump less. It just depends on when I'm able to be with her, the amount that she's eating, and if I feel full or not. But this is my pump. I've got the Medulla Pump and Style Advance. I really like it. I don't have any complaints about it. It's it's a very good pump and the amount that I've used it, it's still holding up. It's good and strong, so I really enjoy this pump. Well, I'm not going to say that I enjoy it because it's not it's not the highlight of my day. However, it's a good pump. On the topic of breastfeeding, this nipple cream it is my favorite. I Obviously, I use it quite often. I put it on after every pump. Anytime she nurses, I put it on. It just makes me feel more comfortable. And trust me, 
you need something because it's not a fun time having sore cracked nipples. It sucks. Now, for you pumpers out there, um, holding the pump is not fun. It sucks. And it's nice to be able to be hands-free. You can go... You can go on Amazon, you can go Target, I'm sure Walmart sells them anywhere that sells baby stuff probably sells them, and get a hands-free pumping bra. I bought one from Target the first week she was born. I still use it. I use that one at work. But you can also get a sports bra, which is what I use at home. Just get your sports bra, and you cut where your nipples are and then you're able to put the phalange through those holes and pump hands free. It's cheaper, it's a lot cheaper. You got an old sports bra at home, cut it like this and you're going to be able to pump just as well hands free as you could with something from Target or Walmart. This is Lucy. She's decided to join us. She woke up from her nap. Are we cute? We have ma matching shirts. I think it's pretty adorable. I almost cried when I got these for Christmas. But another favorite that I want to talk about are these little bows. They're for, on Amazon. And you can search Emma Jane. And she has a ton of them. We actually, I think we have all of them that she makes. And I think it drives my husband crazy. But she, she sees herself in the mirror over there. So. Another product is these little moccasins. Um, these are the only shoes she's worn so far. She's got little, little chubby feet, so not many, not many things will fit them. But this is our sweet little Lucy, and I figured I would end the video with this cute little face. Can you say bye bye? Bye bye. Can you tell him bye bye? Bye.